So hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. Today we're going to be talking about our simple pump. This is the best way for you to get pure off-grid water, okay? We can talk about wells, we can talk about ponds, we can talk about catchment, we can talk about rain catchment, we can talk about gutters, we can talk about all of those things all day long. But rain or shine, cold or hot, this is how we do it. So you guys know the story with our well. We have a well on the property right up towards the house. The well services our home and it also services our barn. We are in the midst of talking about adding a generator obviously to this as well. So that is the next phase, but in the phase of having our well, now we didn't have the well dug. The well was already on the property when we bought the property, but we have a new pump. We have all of the things, the man that knows it all is here. <laughs> so what all, let, I'll let you say, what all did they do? Because I can guesstimate, but you know more about it than I do. So when we had everything torn out and replaced, what what did they do? Well, well, um, <laughs> initially they, they had to pull the old well out because it was no good anymore. So we hired a uh, well company to come in and they set their truck up with the rig and they rigged everything out that was old and went in with a new motor, new wire, new lines and put a cap on it because we didn't initially have the simple pump hand pump yet, which is what we're talking about today. Mm -hmm. So with that, the well worked. Whenever we needed water, it was hooked up, it worked fine and no issues. But we wanted the ability to extract the water in the event that we lost power because wells run on electricity. And so we wanted a hand pump. And um, the gentleman that put the well in recommended simple pumps. And mm -hmm. we did a little research, price compared, talked to both groups of people through their customer support line. And clearly simple pump was the best way to go. It was roughly half the other pumps that we researched yes. and the quality and construction, the customer service, all of that has been impeccable to this point. So we don't have enough good things to say about that. And before we forget, you got a veteran's discount. I did get a veteran's discount. Yes. That's also yes. true. Yes. So you definitely want to ask about that. So if you mm -hmm. are shopping around, regardless of who you're looking at or talking to, ask if they have a veteran's discount and what they can do for you you know, you do what's best for you, but um, so far this has been pretty awesome. Now I have one thing to say, we have to, even if we're not using it daily, it is recommended that we try to pump it at least once a yeah, week. As part of the maintenance, when you have a uh, hand pump, there are seals and stuff that are in there and they have a tendency to dry out. So what you want to do is work them periodically. They recommend twice a week, just pump it a couple times until the water starts to come out. That keeps the seals moist and wet and keeps them from dry rotting or anything like that. So it just maintains the quality of the components of the pump. And that has been no issue thus far either. No, no, we all do it. I do it, Gabriel does it. Okay, so basically, you wanna walk through the basic construction of what we have here? Yeah, so. So, so I'll, let me flip the camera around and you're gonna be the star of the show, honey. I'm the star. Yeah. Okay, so you're gonna read, it's, it's so much information, it's easier for you just to read it, so go for it. Yeah, and this is all straight off of their website, so you can go just do a quick Google for Simple Pumps Incorporated, Simple Pumps, whatever, in your Google search bar, and it'll pop up. And what I wanna talk about is the materials, because that's important. Okay. And so, on their website, they've got everything that lays it out very clear, very helpful very intuitive website to get to the information that you want. But one of the most important things when you're dealing with a, a hand pump or a well in general 
is you want to make sure that the materials are safe, right? You're going to be drinking the water. So you want to make sure that the materials that they use aren't toxic and aren't going to contaminate the water. So from their site, this is uh, safe water, safe drinking water act compliant. So there are obviously rules and regulations associated with wells and, and well material. So this one is SDWA compliant. The pump assembly, pump head, pump cylinder, and check valves are all high grade stainless steel. Stainless doesn't rust. So being, um, being uh, in water, you don't have to worry about them rusting. So you're gonna have a long life for those components. Uh, the pump rods are aerospace quality fiberglass with resin certified for drinking water use and fused stainless steel ends. So there's a rod that goes down the middle of this assembly and that's what that's talking about when it's talking about the pump rods. All the metal parts that come in contact with water are lead free stainless steel. So again, you're not having to worry about concerns with lead in the water. Everyone knows that that's dangerous. Um, and then the drop pipe. So this is actually the, the piping that goes all the way down and connects to the end of the actual pump is PVC Schedule 80, which is a pretty thick PVC pipe. So it's gonna be long lasting and, and durable. And then the pump's handle, which is this right here, and all of this is aircraft grade aluminum. So it's lightweight, so it's not cumbersome to use. It's very sturdy material because of the way it's constructed. And again, because it's um, out in the weather and it's uh, out in every day, you know, it's not protected by a well house or anything, you want a material that's not gonna degrade due to rust or anything else. So that's what this is. And then the construction, as you can see, there's a couple little pins here. It's very easy just to snap these pins out and remove the handle. And so when I got some of the paperwork out and was looking at it, it actually recommends if you're gonna be away, like if you're going on vacation or if you have the, this well on a farm somewhere, and, and if you're afraid someone might come by and try and take it, you can snap the handle off very quickly and easy to remove. And then you don't have to worry about anyone being able to access the water or, um, you know, damage or steal your handle. So it's sort of a little bit of a safety thing that they have added with the ease of the, of the, the construction with the way it's made. Okay, I don't think the world has ever heard you talk this much and, and you're not done. So you want to talk about one more thing? You want to talk about the cap? next yes i do want to talk about the cat but i have to catch my breath <laughs> okay all right well we'll give you a second hold on okay so this is the cap the blue that they're seeing is that what you're calling the yes, cap this okay is the well cap okay and what i want to talk about before i get into this i want to say one more thing very importantly simple pumps are made in america so you're buying an american-made product when you buy simple pumps that's important to me as a veteran and i hope it's important to all you all out there as well this is the cap of the well and so as you see the hand pump is coming out of the top of the cap originally when we had our well put in we had a different cap and it was just solid uh -huh. so if you're installing a hand pump into a pre-existing well and your cap is solid they'll ask you all these questions when you call customer support but um, you have to tell them the size of the opening of the well and then they send this cap so this cap was part a part from simple pump and it's specifically designed to accept the hand well through the top because that's where they will all come in they'll be mounted to the top and so what you see here is this part over here is the 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 motorized or the electric well pump that's under this and then on this side of the opening, they slide the hand pump down. And so when you're talking to them, you need to make sure that you have all the proper dimensions so that they can send you the right equipment. And that way, when you do the install, it's a one and done and not, oops, we got the wrong thing. We need to send this back. So I just wanted to simply talk about, um, again, solid construction. Here is the casing from the original well. 
and this is the cap that goes on that casing so you can see it's sort of older and rusty looking and then all of this is new but um, our well is a submersed well which means it's underwater it's um, I don't know roughly 320 feet deep or something along those lines but our water line is around 100 feet. That's what the people told us when they were pulling the old well out. So they'll need to know that information also, where your water line is, because when you order your pump, you have to know how many sections of that PVC to order so that when the pump hangs at the bottom of it, you're 20, 30 feet under the water line. That way you know you've got a good source of water when you start using your hand pump and it's not, uh, you know, the, the pump is deep enough, obviously, because it needs to be submerged in the water. So those are all questions that when you call and ask them, they'll ask you those questions. So this isn't necessarily something that you need to remember, but it will help be helpful if you have that information up front. And then when they ask, you don't have to make a second phone call because you have to go do the homework. So um, again, simple pump, uh, great quality, and... Um, I can't say enough good things about it. Just really straightforward and easy to use. You pump the lever down, a couple pumps, water starts coming out, and you're good to go. So I would say that you agree that this is probably one of the better or best investments that we've had for our homestead. Oh yeah, absolutely. You need a source of water on your homestead, and you need a source of water where you don't necessarily need electricity. And if you already have a well, and you can add this, it's, uh, it's a pretty inexpensive way to get to that source of water without digging a pond or something like that right. and sort of retain it. Well, and also we didn't have issue with this when it was freezing. That's correct. So yeah, this is so deep underground that it's right. never going to freeze. And the uh, pipe that goes down, it's called, it has what's called a weeping hole. Most people will be familiar with this if you've worked around any of these types of uh, features. And what happens is when you pump the water out, the water literally comes all the way up to here. And so once the water starts coming out and then you let it go and let it sit, because of that little weep hole that's down, the water will drain back down and it gets down below the level of the, uh, of the freezing point. So it could be 20 below outside literally but when you get more than like 18 24 inches below ground level the temperature warms up rapidly so you don't ever have to worry about this pump freezing it's designed to allow the water to drain down low enough that it will never freeze so this pump as long as it doesn't freeze on these joints because of freezing rain or something like that this pump will work year round, regardless of the weather conditions. Okay, honey, the deer are thirsty. We have a lot of visitors right now. Well, I think your presentation today was awesome. Thank you. I think, I think this is an awesome, awesome <laughs> addition to our homestead. Yes. And I couldn't be anything other than awesome if I'm talking about simple pumps. <laughs> All right, guys, we appreciate you watching. We hope we have answered he has answered some of your questions because I know that when we got this installed or we got it and you were saying we want to see it, uh, you want to see all about it and we highly recommend it. Uh, we've been working with it for a couple of months, so it's been very tested, tried and true in hot and extreme, extreme cold weather. And uh, I think we're pretty pleased so far. So if you have any questions, let us know. Check out Simple Pump. We'll put all the information down in the description. Like, subscribe, and share. I think you've got a new host. Guys, we'll see you on the next video.